So welcome back guys to a second episode of Bioshock Infinite. Um, so previously, so let's have a look around. Um, look at her. And we're going to head to She's the carnival, um, you know, that's uh, which is a celebration of through. Father Comstock's child. So I'm just looking around here. Um, this is retrospective commentary again, guys. I agree. Yeah, so just listen to what people are saying. Having a little look around, trying to get an idea of what the um, sort of what the environment's like in in a uh, Colombia. Hello there, friend. See what you're looking at, just a blimp, flowing seas. It's very steampunky. You wanna let me through here, pal? Uh, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. We're up block. Better find another way around. Yep, so we won't let you through that way, so we have to go through no, the um, no actual carnival. Those are bigger. So that's the way I go. You can hear you, you can hear this guy talking about figures. Yeah, Jeremiah's things figures. Um, in Bioshock 1, I think they're injections, and in this one they're drinkages. I think. Oh yeah, it's like propaganda for cigarettes, but it is quite funny. Especially like, yeah, kid, kids can smoke cigarettes. Which I do not advise in real life at all. You know our prophet is fair, you know our prophet is kind. Because here, like, on the right, he's got the, uh, like, shock jockey. And on the left, he's got some, like, I, I, I forgot what it's called, it's like a fireball. Praise be Fire to our prophet, maybe? and praise be to our fair city. I can't remember what it's called, but it'll come back to it. Um, but yeah, it's based on that post on the left. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I think, um, I tried to go up in yeah. Those are no flights of fancy. Minute, Those are no to, tall to tales to told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Binkins. I was just enjoying the show, so like, <laughs> trying to get up to the stage. The I and realised you can't do it. One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. I tried way too much for that. Um, and then we entered the Columbia Raffle and Fair. Young um, sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Yeah, Whether you good. need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. There you go, that's the first figure you can get. A bucking bronco. Young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> I'm just getting used to the bigger, so I didn't quite uh, know how to use it at this point. Um, so I think they're doing. Yeah, I think I hit the, the woman a few times. You are supposed to avoid her. And this that's three. this to my way. And remember, if you need it lifted, lost it, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Cool. Um, you can pick, and once you've picked up the, the bigger, you can go back and get um, more salt, which is what gives right. you the... Um, salt was originally by adolescents. Next so that's the skyline. Little joy ride. That becomes a bit more of a thing later on, but um, I'll wait until then. I'm sort of having a look around because there's so much to do. So these figure vending machines, um, they give you like upgrades or um, unlock certain bigger. I don't have enough money to buy the Black and Bronte, even though I do want it. So I'm gonna sort of look around, see what I can get. I'll give it a shot. I come back because because I need the money, so I'll, I'll try to game to get some more money for myself. Buy that fucking front too. It's the whole whole idea. And there's devil number one. Devil number two. Woo! He's on a roll. And that's three. We have a winner. Oh, Our event, only one prize per person. 
Yep, she didn't get a second prize, which is a bit unfortunate. Which isn't great. <laughs> so you got 40 seconds to shoot the box, which like the rebels off the um, off the sky. But you see, like I wouldn't earn money, maybe the, the 20 points, 10 points. That's what I'm going for. First of all, use the gun in fire truck and fit it. Missed the one with the bomb. That's seven. More for the record. More for the record. Try to shoot uh, two at once for the record. Uh, if I had the bit left, I would have got both of them. Oh, some 19 points was so close. So I get the silver eagles, um, but I don't get the first. So I want to get 20, so I come back and do it again. I think this time I learn I can shoot more than one at once. This makes a change as well. I'm not even terrible at aiming. <laughs> I missed that one. See, that's 20. That's 20. No one has got high score. Do I go back? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I go back for the five points as well. <laughs> Just leaving no prize on ten. I, I don't think I realised what it was, um, but it, it's not really that. I do. I I've met my target, so I'm not really able to do much now. It's good practice with a shotgun, though. Somehow, not trying. I got more points than any other time. <laughs> I was really trying for the 20, but I wasn't trying for that one. I was like, oh, help. How, how disappointing. <laughs> so again, you can see the um, your man Stalins, which is like steam punky. There's your hot dogs, there's your skyline. You, sir, are That's you where I've got to go. Who will take arms against these monstrous heathens? Save the day and win the prize. Again, 30 seconds well, to get 20 points. A brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. And you get extra throw points. In a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Um, you spoke for me? Yeah, yeah, but um, Daisy, you. Uh, is, uh, the, um, like the rebel leader. Oh, I'm not great at aiming. Yes. Yeah, Here you go, buddy. But I must say, it's a lot faster, but I'm absolutely terrible at aiming. Um, so I want the 10 points again, because I want that bucket front row, so I want, I want as many points as possible, or many coins as possible. So I'm going for another 10 points. I think um, at this point, I realise... I think I was trying to be quick, and then I realised you can aim down the sides, and you're a lot more accurate. It's a little bit slower. Oh god, 
Yeah, it's a little bit slower than it do this way. But it's a lot more accurate. Just pressing the R3 button down. Oh, I'll take my 10 points. Yeah, I'll take my 10 points and I um, go back. Can I buy it now? Nope, still, still not. So here's another audio. Um, Voxophone audio. What's a Voxophone? What's a Voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> hot dogs, I like this not hot playing, dogs, but... Alexander Hot Dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. So, Red hot hot the advances in Columbia's science, Columbia's apple pie, Columbia's patriotic arrival, soon enough, we've got to head back round to the other side of the carnival, um, to possess, uh, you, we'll use a possession digger, but you get a bit, a little bit later. Um, so Sirius says Colombian raffle, you, that's where we got to go. Um, so that's where I should be head. I sound dangerous. Don't go hungry, don't be sad. Alexander hot dogs make Colombia glad. I just listened to the uh, the rhyme. I think I should listen to this song as well. <laughs> so, um, this is a handyman, so they're, they're the game's, effectively the game's big daddies. Um, like, they're really tough, the tough monsters. Quite hard to kill, actually. They're not as scary as big daddies, though. They kind of they kind of remind me of, like, something like Toy Story 1, where, like, the bald heads and the spider legs, like something that Sid would create. I can't take a closer look. Um, so here is a possession figure. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Yeah, so possession allows uh, allows you to as the projector and possess turrets. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Or you can Has possess a pay telephone when, ever refused um, to connect you, you with a beloved it. spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. So I pick it up. Just a whisper. They're all ears. And the weird thing is. She's like the possession monster. Right, isn't it? Mm. She's very, very <laughs> creepy. Very weird. <laughs> and you Press get a little demonstration of how to use it. Allies. Sorry. <laughs> I get out of so much. And so what you can do is use it on machines. You have to use on this machine to get into the raffle, uh, which is the other side. Have you ever seen um, anything like it? These assaults, they like replenish your assaults completely. Four I just wanted to check what was up here as well. This is more a hot dog vendor. Nothing too much to be honest. What more do you call home? An import in the storm? You got used on a ticket taker, which is the uh, which is that machine just from the gates. I have a weakness for this ice cream business. 
that he could lift that entire booth over his head. I think I'll just explore and just check and make sure there's nothing sort of left behind. Oh, and I forget, I forgot about the fucking Bronte, so I come back and see if I can get it. You can possess the things, get more money. Which, I still don't think it gives me enough. I do it once per machine as well. I thought I could get infinite money that way. So use position on this machine, um, and that's how you get into the next area. But then I run out of salts, forgetting that there's a salt machine right there, <laughs> which I can use. I think I think hit I think hit air. I didn't. Oh, there's another another game. Yeah, I was looking around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I uh, did find this extra game. I don't think I get anything for it as well. You just there is nothing. Getting back to the horses. Park check bins. The kids smoking <laughs> from the propaganda. <laughs> Safe for kids. Not in real life, so I do not advise. Boxophones, boxophones. Hear your voice from the past in the present. And onwards, onwards to the ticket taker. So use possession on this ticket taker here, um, and actually get to the next section. I did lose some footage here. Um, what you do get is you get a raffle which um, gives you the number ticket 77 which was on the telegraph uh, previously um, and then as you go sort of through you have to you on a stage with a Jeremiah Fink is there um, being like a ringleader um, they do like his play and then an uh, uh, interracial couple um, a Caucasian um, and an African American uh, woman they're like kissing and they're, they're captured and brought to the stage and you get given a baseball um, and with this baseball, you have to choose to either throw it at Jeremiah Fink or at the couple. Um, and you're encouraged to throw it at the couple with like, um, and that's that's the racism I was talking about. Um, obviously, I, I don't know what happened here. I lost some footage, or or the uh, the section was blocked. Um, and after I chose to throw it at Jeremiah Fink, you get stopped, um, and then you basically get into a gunfight. Um, so this is the aftermath of the gunfight. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't pick out for you guys. And this is right at the beginning of the game. Um, and because I'm, cause I'm uh, recording retro, retroactively, unfortunately I can't get back and re-record it for you guys. Um, but, but this is a sort of like the elements of the, the racism that I gave this game about in the first episode. Um, and it begins to, begins to pick up and you get a sense that oh, everything's not, not perfect in Colombia. Um, so you get the gunfight, you come down this, this alleyway. Um, this bit here is the game you go What's going on? And proceed to the next section of the game. This is mainly a tutorial for um, how to fight. So, th so this enemy is uh, one of the toughest enemies I've encountered. So I possess him, so he's my ally. Um, so he won't, he won't really attack me. I don't know why I didn't keep shooting him. Yeah. And they do like uh, a explosion. No, you only live oh, there once. was a gift, another vigor. I don't think I've got enough money to get that one. <laughs> and, and I thought you do come across um, previously when you go for the ticket taker. To throw a which you do have. Grenade. Um, Hold and release to create an explosive trap. Um, and they flip a coin and it's heads. <laughs> and and like a lot of times, like a tiny wasn't card, no like sample. always heads been chosen about like 70 odd times. Uh, which is important for later on. But what comes to that as the story approaches it. Mm. 
So as you can see, like like now we get into a bit where all bit of destruction, a lot of fire. I'm being careful. So I'm gonna look around. Um, I wonder where the Forts Marine is gonna come jump out of me. Put a turret in here. <laughs> Didn't realise there's a turret. I'm surprised the turret can hit me. Too. Like, oh, how can I how can I hit it with a uh, up that way? I'm gonna try and try and come from inside. They can't see me. There you go. There's my my explosion, my traps. People running out of the bridge, I think. So I leave it to like, leave like bigger traps. Oh, that would look like you hit me. That was just like you hit. <laughs> Alright, so we're So there's your bigger uh, wheel, so you can change the weapons. Taking the pistol. Ammo. Sorry. See what I can get. Um, there's a bit of salt, so that's a your figure. There's always the blue bar at the bottom of the uh, screen, by the way. Come look around, see what's out here. Doesn't seem to be too much this side. Um, I did choose to put this on hard mode. Um, it's not too bad in the beginning. It does get a lot harder on quite quickly. I say it's not as hard as like the original Bioshocks, but there are a few points I, I just die a couple of times. <laughs> Partly because of my my own <laughs> skills or lack of them, <laughs> um, and then other times because it's, it's I'm so overwhelmed with enemies. So we enter in the blue ribbon, um, which is where we have to go. We want to go to Monument Island. That's where we're trying to get to. Um, to get some more answers about what's going on. Right, so we're in the blue room. Um, this is like because it's because I got it through the PSN. You get the season pass gifts. Um, so there you go. So you get some extra silver eagles, um, and you get some gear um, and stuff, sort of stuff around in this section. So I think I have a look in the cloak room. Hello, machine gun ammo. Nicely stocked in the wardrobe. Um, I drank the booze here. <laughs> Unknown booze. Gives you health. But it um, makes you can't see. It's really disorientating, like it didn't look too bad in the video actually, but in game it's really disorientating to because sometimes you accidentally like pick up because I haven't left in battlefields and it makes it really hard to aim and like does a bit of <laughs> So this is about creation of yeah. Um, it's, I'm just getting the Sightseer trophy. Um, but it is basically propaganda from Lord Comstock. How we got followers, and then there's one more. I think so. There you go. There's all the gear and stuff. Yeah. 
so we go get some gear. I, I basically take Why everything. are you following me? Why are you following us? So they flip the coins. Um, again, they've got their heads. So the, the guy on the right there, um, he flipped a coin and it was heads and there's a tally that's saying it's like that for ages. Um, so I'm picking up all the gear here basically and I'm equipping different gear. Um, gives you different bonuses. So like this one's kill them with a video crap, send them send chance to cause the enemy to become hostile. Increase the clip size, so I need ammo, so I take the gear. I take all the gear to be honest. I just read what each one does. So I'm, I'm looking at what I've got equipped, um, and you can choose to equip it or just take the gear. Um, I do take every gear I find, but um, I'm just choosing the ones I want to equip to work for my playstyle. I think I don't go for extra money. I know I do, I do. <laughs> So um, increasing health or, or or shield or assault. So do health, I do the assaults. Um, there's more gear here. Gold bar. So I got my money for my back and Bronte. At this one I haven't come across the handman, so I just like I'll just take it. I won't equip it. I've already got an extra clip size, so I wanted to change the other one. And you can see how like undecisive I am. Indecisive, sorry. Um, I go back and get the rest. So yeah, I've got two on everything, so I might as well increase. My salts are full, so I don't need it. I'm like money, take the money. Results. Then I'm like, oh, I can go in here as well. Um, so I just drink all the booze, <laughs> and I run the sink. I wonder. I, you can always run like every sink in the game, and I, I do wonder if it's like. Um, a trophy for us, me. It's never become like, of any use. There's ammo, so I'm like, oh, there's ammo there. I see what else is about. You'll find that handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. So she's carrying one more here. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around I think you're supposed to take that first to get the shield. Doesn't kill you. Um, because I picked up the infusions first from the, from the season pass. Um, that's where I got it. But thanks for joining. We'll leave this episode here um, before I head into the next section. If you like in this series so far, um, like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, click the bell to get notified for our upcoming videos. And keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages. So it's goodbye from Lee. See you next time.